Hello friends and welcome. This is Deborah. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Gosh, can you all believe it's May already and Mother's Day is just in a few days. It's just mind-blowing how quickly last month went by, isn't it? So in today's video, I'll be showing you my latest DIY as well as taking a look at how the new French Country credenza looks set up in front of the mirrored wall here at the condo. But first, let's start with my DIY that I did on a terracotta pot and saucer from Home Depot and how I planted it with a small Japanese boxwood I've clipped to become a topiary. Let's take a look at how I transformed them and I'll explain how I did it step by step. Most of you have seen in my prior videos where I've used a technique to add faux moss to some of my pots and a garden statue by using concrete patch. But here I decided to add a bit more dimension and character to this pot and chose to use a Florida de Lis stencil that I've had for years and stencil it on with concrete patch, which is what you're seeing here for a very raised and textural look. It's very quick and easy to do and turned out fantastic. And here's the pot with the whitewash completed. I just used some white chalk paint that I had on hand and wiped it down with a, a damp paper towel to give it a well-seasoned look. Then I stenciled on the fleur-de-lis design using the concrete patch. It was fun, quick and easy, and turned out fabulous, I think. After letting the fleur-de-lis dry for a couple of hours, I then mixed a bit of concrete patch with forest moss green paint to create the faux moss and then I mix concrete patch with dark brown paint to mimic a bit of dirt to go on the moss. Both were mixed to about the consistency of toothpaste then dabbed on with my stencil brush here and there and a little more heavily in some places than others. I also used my water mister bottle to mist the faux moss while it was still wet to make it feather out a bit and to create some runs to look as though rain had washed through it and left drip marks. After that, I applied the dirt part to the moss. When this part was completed, I let it dry overnight. The next day, I finished the pot with two coats of polycrylic to seal the exterior of the pot since it's gonna have a live plant in it and be outside. And it worked great. After I finished the pot, I let it sit overnight, and then the next day, I planted it with a Japanese boxwood that I purchased from Home Depot, which I trimmed to become a topiary. So now let's take a look at the finished project with the boxwood topiary all planted and trimmed up. It's small for now, but I look forward to watching it grow into a wonderful new topiary in my garden. I just love it. All right, friends, now let's take a look at the new credenza shown here at the antique store where we purchased it. It's such a great size and offers wonderful and much needed storage space. It's 60 inches wide by 45 inches tall and 20 inches deep, and I love the finish along with the wood stain top. I knew I wanted to make it my own and add a little something to each end of it for a little more function and decorative use as well. And to each end, my hubby added an iron rack with hooks so I can hang copper pieces, baskets, decorative towels, or whatever I can dream up. And by doing this, it makes it look even more French country. I chose these racks with the hooks at Hobby Lobby, which matches the one I have on my kitchen island. They were 50% off, which was great, and to me that's the only way to shop when you can catch these things at 50% off. And here's how the credenza looks in place, and it fits that area just perfectly, I think, in front of the mirrored wall. I've not yet decorated it, it because I 
need to get lamps. I just have these two sitting on top here while I actively search for just the right ones to go on it. This area really needs lighting to reflect off those dark mirrors, especially since there's a bulkhead which creates a lower ceiling height. Here I'm showing you um, what great storage this offers on the bottom and it has two really nice sized drawers up on top. No doubt this will be filled quickly with lots of dishes, linens, etc. I'm so thrilled to have it you guys. And while we're at it, I thought I'd show you all these two wonderful French country vessels that I purchased last week at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. Aren't they gorgeous? I'll be putting these to good use very soon and most likely on the top of this credenza. And now let's go in for a closer look so you can see the details a little bit better on the credenza. All right, my sweet friends, before we go, I just wanted to mention my new series again that's coming up on May 20th, Share and Shine Friday. And if you'd like to be featured on my new series, please contact me over at my Instagram account for details on how to do that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And here's a list of what I'm looking for coming up here on the screen to let you know um, what I'd like to have featured so if you're interested please do send me a message over on my instagram account all right my lovelies that'll do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and found a little inspiration thank you so much for spending time with me that means more than you know to me before i go i just want to wish you all a beautiful and happy mother's day i hope it's filled with love and many blessings please do come back next week for a decorate with me on the new credenza i'm really looking forward to sharing that with you all and hopefully i'll have some new lamps by then to go on it until then you all take care my friends bye bye